by Laura Armstrong staff reporter through April 26, 2018 in the race for American League East dominance, the Blue Jays are lagging behind. After an off-season spent hearing about the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox, there is a quiet, confidence in Toronto's clubhouse that they can play ball with the big boys. An opening series split with the Yankees set the Blue Jays on the right path. But they dropped a pair of series to their main rivals, New York and Boston, in the last week, going 2-5. The final loss came Thursday night with J.D. Martinez's three-run homer turning out to be the difference in Boston's 5-4 decision. Toronto, which dropped from second to third in the East while losing the last two games to Boston, is now 6-8 against Al East opponents this season. Toronto Blue Jays starting pitcher Marco Estrada salutes the crowd as he gets 1,000th career strikeout as the Jays play against the Boston Red Sox, then to net the Canadian press, we battled. Jays manager John Gibbon said, Those games are tough. If you're going to do anything, you've got to beat the top teams and I think we can do that. Just need to tighten some things up, really get our starting rotation on a roll. We are killing our pen right now, that's for sure. That can't hold up. Right-hander Marco Estrada's mediocre start to the year continued on Thursday, as he allowed five runs and eight hits over five innings, his third straight outing giving up at least four runs without pitching into the sixth. Red Sox starter Chris Sale didn't look quite himself either, giving up a run in each of the first three innings, including a pair of homers. But the lefty worked until the seventh, allowing just one walk to the final 11 hitters he faced. Sale loaded the bases with one out in the first, walking T. Escar Hernandez, allowing a single by Justin Smoke and hitting Yanger Vasolarte. A sacrifice fly by Kevin Pillar scored Hernandez, but Lord Scurriel Jr. flew out to strand a pair of runners. Devin Travis's first home run of the year, a two-out solo shot to left field, doubled the Jays' lead in the second. The Red Sox pulled one back through a pair of doubles from shortstop Brock Holt and left fielder Andrew Benintendi in the top of the third but Smoke's first home run since April 1, a solo shot in the bottom of the inning, reinstated Toronto's two-run lead. Boston cut it to 3-2 in the fourth when second baseman Eduardo Nunez hit a one-out RBI double to score first baseman Mitch Moreland. Estrada gave up a pair of two-out singles to Benintendi and designated hitter Hanley Ramirez the next inning, before allowing the decisive three-run home run to Martinez. Estrada, who reached career strikeout number 1,000 on the night, ended the inning having thrown 92 pitches. The hitters did what they're supposed to do, Estrada said. They did their job and I basically let them all down in the fifth inning, just one swing of the bat, it all unraveled and it's unfortunate. It could have been a much better night for us. Toronto made it a one-run game in the seventh when pinch hitter Kendrys Morales scored Travis, who had tripled off reliever Carson Smith. But the Blue Jays weren't able to muster any late-inning offense, despite four shutout innings from relievers Aaron Liu, Sung Won Oh and Danny Barnes. Despite the Blue Jays' recent record, Estrada was encouraged by the fact that the two losses to Boston were decided by a lone run. He believes his team will be just fine if it works out a few kinks, it's a good sign for us, we're not getting blown out by these guys and we're winning a few games. Sports action and reaction delivered to your inbox, new N-E-W-S-L-E-T-T-E-R-S-P-O-R-T-S-S-I-G-N-Up.